Good morning. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning. And if you are joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to the live streaming. Uh, my li live uh, streaming is uh, unscripted, uh, very spontaneous as well. So this morning, you know what? Okay, we talk about Bravo Brista Express and Bravo Brista Pro over the years. And you know, lately, I have to say, okay, I'm kind of like, I've been recommending you guys Brista Express a lot, but last you know year or so I've been using Bravo Brista Pro. I have to say, okay, if you guys are looking for home machine right now, I think I go with Bravo Brista Pro. Okay, I go with the uh, Bravo Brista Pro. I think only price is of only about uh, one hundred dollar difference right now. So we are looking at six ninety nine versus seven ninety nine. So. I mean, if you guys are looking into buying a new machine right this moment, if you guys are tossed between Bravo Brista Express or Pro, I know even some of you think about maybe Gaza Classic Pro as well. And let's not forget the Rancheria Serbia. But if you guys like to make milk based drink overall speed, uh, kind of a workflow, I mean, I'm really leaning to Bravo Brista Pro. Don't get me wrong, okay? I love Brista Express, but uh, I mean, if you're new to the channel, I mean, let me kind of like give you guys a walk around, okay? Uh, show, you, uh, show you the Bravo Brista Pro, okay? Just give you guys a quick look at this. Uh, everything is controlled by this control panel here. With Bravo Brista Express, as you, you know, we have a lot of buttons for this one. By the control menu, we can control pretty much the shot, uh, water temperature. Right now, I set my water temperature at uh, default temperature there. And if you want to increase to, they go by two degree, plus two, plus four, minus two, minus four. So right now, I'm set at default temperature. Okay. And again, you can change the grinder size. And also, you can also change the the length of the grinder time. Okay, right now I'm set at number 18, uh, 18 seconds for my grinder set, uh, grinder time. Okay, and back here, the grinder adjustment. And the, right now my grinder size at number thirteen. So this is go up to number thirty. The so compared to number sixteen on Bravo Brista Express. Okay. What, what's the downside of this machine? Okay, I know, I know not everybody likes 54 millimeter, okay? 54 millimeter filter baskets. But I mean, if you ask me about three or four years ago, I, I might say, you know what, I think I'm gonna save money, go with the 58 because 58 is a lot more standard, okay? You're gonna get a lot more tools and, and also you can get a lot of tools and also gadgets, okay? Very inexpensive. But especially now, okay, 2021, there is uh, so many uh, companies out there make tw uh, 54 millimeter gears, okay? I mean, like, Crima Coffee Products makes a uh, dosing cup, bottomless pore filter, they make distribution tool. Also, if you're looking at the Amazon, you have uh, tons and tons inexpensive uh, distribution tools. And also, if you guys want, feel like spend some money on it, you can go with a high-end like San Antonio industry. So, I mean, the limits are pretty much boundless right now. So you have, you don't have to worry about buying your tools for that. And it comes to shot quality. Uh, again, if you are new to the channel, let me pull the shot for you this morning. And then, I, you know, I, I want you to see for yourself, okay? I want you to see for yourself because this is great thing about live streaming. There's no editing. I cannot cut. You know, if I don't like the shot, I can edit it out, my edited videos, but in life, what you see is what you get. So, uh, you know what, let's put some shot, okay? And then let's talk about it a little more, okay? A little more. I already pulled the shot this morning for my wife. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna flush it out. And then uh, let's pull the shot and then let's talk about the things I love about this machine or something I, I don't like about this machine. The one thing I don't like about this machine, you know what, let's pull the shot first. 
So this is using thermojet, okay? Thermojet uh, uh, from thermo block on uh, Bravo Barista Express. So thermojet means that extremely fast because you guys get up in the morning, press the button, matter of seconds, okay? Uh, your coffee machine is ready to go. That doesn't mean everything is hot, it's not. But, okay, here we go. I'm just gonna use my endorsing funnel here. So I'm pulling, uh, we're gonna do 21 gram, okay? I'm using the aftermarket uh, uh, filter basket there, so. Okay, so way back when, when I started making coffee, there's no modification for the single dose option. I mean, even like filter baskets, we are stuck with 54 millimeters uh, filter basket from Bravo. We have no option for that. But now you can get a 18 to a 21 gram basket from Amazon right now, or so you can get a IMS precision uh, filter basket from you know, IMS as well. So this one is the IMS I'm using this morning. Uh, th this is an 18 to 22 gram basket. And not only that, you guys, if you have a 3D print, you can print out the WDT uh, distribution, you know, I mean, tools as well. So, I mean, I have to say, okay, the, for the convenience and the easeability of using Bravo Barista Pro over the years, man, can beat it, okay? The, yes, the built-in grinder is not the best. But overall, I'm fine with it. I'm just gonna do some distribution here. I'm just gonna do a quick temp. So let's pull the shot. Uh, let's do, again, Bravo Brista Pro has a built-in timer. So, so this is 20 on gram. I'm trying to shoot for one to two ratio, like 41 gram to like between 41 and 45. Before we do that, I'm just gonna warm up my shot glass. I mean, as you can see, the workflow is very easy, okay? You don't have to think much, it's very intuitive. Let's put it that way. Okay, so I'm just gonna weigh my shot there, and I'm just gonna time it, and because we do have a built-in timer, so Comes to shot time, let's try to shoot for like 30 and 35 seconds. Okay, here we go, folks. Uh, I think I'm gonna do, you know what, since I'm doing the manual mode, let's do about seven to 10 second pre infusion. Okay, nice. Shot looks great so far, no channeling. Beautiful shot, these are all crema. Man, looks great. I'm shooting for around 40 grams. Man, it looks good, okay. Uh, obviously there's no channeling, it's about 32 second shot there, so this is, you know, perfect shot, consider. Not that beautiful, thick, rich crema. Yeah, yeah, I mean, okay, I do have a Rancholia Sylvia at work, okay. I have a Rancholia Sylvia that's the latest model, a uh, version six with the PID built in. And uh, uh, they are calibrated for nine bar pressure as well. So, I mean, that machine is pretty much good as you get for Rancholia Servia, the Servia model. 
and I, I got the, all the, uh, let's say, IMS, a shower screen, and also filter baskets, pretty much loaded. Uh, comes to shot to shot, comparing with my Bravo Barista Pro, the difference is slim. Okay, the difference is really slim. So, so let's do this. Okay, let's uh, take a shot here. Cheers. They are fantastic, fantastic shot. So I'm using right now uh, coffee from Batterbone. Coffee, this is a direct tray, which means uh, the roaster is worked with a roaster directly. So this is great as well. Uh, uh, they're roasted on July 11th, so really fresh. Again, if you're having issues with the channeling on your machine, it's not the machine's fault, okay, as you saw. But make sure you get the fresh uh, coffee beans as possible. It make a big difference, okay? Make a big difference in it. If, you're, uh, if you have fresh roasted coffee beans within like 7 to like 14 days mark there, the between, I think you're going to get a pretty clean shot uh, without any channeling. So uh, let's see. One thing, okay, so one thing I have to say, the, I wish they fixed this. The one thing I don't like about, uh, I don't like about Bravo Barista Pro is the, the warm-up. You cannot warm up the machine. Since this is thermal, uh, thermal jet, so there's no heating elements on the side, okay? Not, not much, very weak. So with Br uh, Bravo Barista Express, you can warm up like 20 minutes. Group head, uh, uh, let's say the warm, uh, warming tray there, get everything is nice, you know, get really warm, okay? Not hot, but really warm. So you can warm that properly. But with the thermal jet, it's nothing like it. So if you are done with it, you can shut it off, okay? And you can save energy, and if you're ready to make coffee, turn back on. We are ready to brew, okay? But just one thing you have to remember, just do the couple dummy shots before, so you can at least heat up your uh, a porter filter as well. And comes to steaming power, again, Bravo Bruce Express, you have to wait about a minute or so, you know, about 30 seconds to heat up. But this one, matter of what, seconds, we are ready to go. I mean, it's not bad at all, okay, not bad. And then you can brew right away, so comes to puck quality, you know what, okay, I'm using the freshly roasted grind coffee. Puck is nice and dry as well. But whenever I use the older beans like, you know, month old, I get a pretty soggy puck too, so. Let's see, I hope this video helps, okay. Uh, make sure, again, if you are thinking about buying one, okay, do some research as well. I mean, I like you guys to do your own research, but, but I have plenty of videos on my channel. You get to see pretty much A to Z, okay? I mean, if you, if you don't know anything about Bravo Barista Express or Pro, I have it on my video collection, so make sure to check it out. And uh, if you are still deciding between Express versus Pro, I mean, at, at this moment right now, okay? I've been using it for a while. Okay, the one thing about Bravo Barista Pro is that between six and nine bar pressure, okay, from the group head. So give you that even, pressure that's not like Bravo Barista Express give you that 14 bar pressure you know and they drop down to like nine bar so it's completely different uh they actually they definitely modify this uh for the better so you, that's why you get to see the even extraction espresso shot you guys saw earlier so it's only hundred hundred dollar difference right now and then during the holidays if a price is about $200 difference there, I might you know, tell you guys, maybe Bravo Barista Express because I want you to save that 200, but if you are saving of 100, I don't know, I think what, I think a go with the Pro is not a bad idea, okay? I, I know some of you out there, if you prefer, you know, Gaza Classic Pro or Servia, I mean, that's a good option as well. But for the home use, like regular people like us, Plus, comes with a built-in grinder. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay, let me 
ask you. I mean, if you are thinking about buying a machine right now, are you guys thinking about between Pro and Express or something else? Yeah, let me know in the comment section, okay? Love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. Okay, any qu questions so far? My wife is looking at the uh, chat room right now, so. Okay, maybe not. Is that far online? What? Battle Bone, what about it? Guatemala. Yes, so this is uh, Guatemala. Yes, this is the Battle Bone. By the way, I have a 25% coupon code for Battle Bone. Uh, they are micro roaster. So these guys are truly micro roaster, okay? They are, uh, they are using, I believe, uh, they are playing uh, operating their coffee roaster, but yeah, right now they are truly micro roaster. If you order it, they're gonna roast it for you and ship it out. So 25% is pretty good price because they're selling for like $17 per bag. So, so after shipping costs, you're gonna pay about what, 17, 18 bucks per bag, freshly roast coffee. It's definitely worth trying, okay? If you guys are living in the United States. If you are living in uh, other countries, no, don't, uh, don't bother, okay? Don't bother, but if you are living in the States, make sure to check out that as well. Man, you know what? 700 bucks right now. Dual boiler. Dual boiler. Wow. Okay, so Dane just informed us that Dane is one of our, our uh, friends in our channel. He's living in Australia. You can get a dual boiler for $7.99 in Australia. Seven thirty. dollars That's a pretty good price. So if you have friends in Australia, okay, send them money. And they can ship it for you. Shipping costs maybe about 100 bucks, maybe. So, so you're looking at $800. That's, that's pretty good. And then, Dane, how much for the uh, Bravo Barista Pro in Australia? Because the uh, Bravo Barista uh, Dual Boiler is great, but you gotta buy a grinder too. So you're gonna spend about another, what, three to five or 600 bucks on grinder. So it gets up there, okay? So it gets up there. Again, Here's my recommendation. I mean, if you guys don't like coffee, just buy one of these and just for, forget about the tools, okay? Forget about uh, getting, you know, additional tools for your coffee bar like I have. If not, some, uh, it, it gets out of control. I don't know about you guys, but once you become coffee user hobby, man, not only you are start buying the tools, you are looking at coffee grinders, I mean, I have like three grinders right now. And they also, you start buying tools you don't need, okay? I have, I don't know how many distribution tools I have. So, but I mean, if you guys are thinking about just wanna make good coffee every morning machine, okay, I highly recommend the 3D dosing funnel for the uh, hands-free. So this is, only, this, uh, this is kind of like must. What else? Uh, you just, that's it. Maybe some rubber mats. That's all you need, okay? You don't need a fancy scales, you know, you don't need any kind of fancy scales. Just go with Amazon $10 scale. But, but if you are getting into coffee as your hobby, make sure to be careful, okay? Be careful. A lot of temptations out there. A lot of temptations. Okay, what else? Okay, so Richard has, okay, Richard has a great point too, because with the Bravo Barista Express or Pro, you are pretty much stuck with this coffee grinder, okay, the built-in grinder. The built-in grinder is same quality as the Bravo Smart Grinder. So, but I mean, if, you're, if you guys love coffee, like if you guys love espresso, if I were to save money, okay, get the machine you guys want at first time, okay, which means uh, I highly recommend uh, get the dual boiler with uh, PID, which means the temperature control. Maybe you can go with uh, E61 group head or standard, does make any difference. And then, uh, yeah, go with that. Uh, go with that route, okay? Rather than uh, just buy entry level machine and jump into machine later, because if you like coffee, eventually you are going to upgrade anyway. But, 
the Reset Value One Braver Bristol Express Pro, they're pretty good. Okay, they're they're not bad because I saw the used Braver Bristol Express on Craigslist. They are selling for what, five hundred bucks for used. So, when um, it comes to Reset Value, it's not too bad because this is good machine to start with. And if this this is something you know, you guys like you know doing every single day, because. Uh, take some little, you know, a little bit of learning curve here. So, I um, mean, you got, you know, you have to learn the machine. You know, you have to, you have to play with it. I mean, if you, you guys like to play with that aspect of it, I mean, just, you know, again, save money and get the machine you, know, you guys really want. But having a separate grinder is really nice. But once you start getting the grinder game, so we have flatbird grinder. We have, also we have a conical, a conical bird, a grinder. And uh, we are talking about the size of the of burst size. We got the 64, 63, goodness, we got 81, well, 82, 83. So they're, they're getting up there. So yeah, I mean, again, it's kind of like anything in life, you know, you, you, we're always looking for something better. So, but if you're looking into buying a, just a machine, just I, I just want a good coffee every morning. Stick uh, stick with the Bravo uh, Express or Pro. I think you should be happy with it. Um, okay, we have some more questions. By the way, if you haven't liked this video, make sure you press like right now. Okay, make sure to do so. Yep. I mean, again, I, Dane is absolutely correct. Okay, because. I mean, if I'm going to start up right now, for, for my lifestyle, I think I'm going to stick with uh, Bravo Brewster Pro, nothing else. Because uh, I make a lot of coffee in the morning, I make for my families, and then also I have a very limited space. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, because, but if you have a funds to, if you have a money to, you know, spend on a good machine, just jump into dual boiler, okay? Jump into dual boiler, get the machine you guys want. So planning on spending about between three and five thousand dollars entire setup there. So, so that's the machine. I mean, if you that, if you want the machine you guys like, okay, I think that's the that's good budget between three and five thousand dollars. That's it, including the grinder. So, I mean, that's pretty good uh, numbers. Donald says Bravo Classic Pro and SGP is six fifty US dollars. Temp control and fifty eight millimeters. Yep. Gaza Classic Pro is also great as well for uh, Donald. That, that's a good option too. But again, so that is a good entry level. As long as you are happy with it, you're going to get a good coffee every single morning. Okay? You are going to get a fantastic coffee every morning. But if you're, that hobby is becoming, uh, so your coffee maker is becoming your hobby, man, just make sure to uh, save money. Uh, just skip the mid range. Just go for the you know, go for the home run. So guys, a classic pro. If you are, have that, if you really like enjoy making coffee, you can stay there. If not, don't go up to like heat heat exchange machine. For my opinion, go with a, a dual boiler with a PID whole nine yard. Get that machine, okay? And to get the make sure you get the grinder you want, and just do not skip it. Because it's worth, you know, wait another year to save money to get the grinder you guys want. That's definitely worth it. Because grinder makes huge difference in your coffee making. Okay, what else? This more. So Matthew has a question. So again, I mean, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, pretty much in the first part of my video, I do that, you know, little presentation. And the second part right now, uh, we're just chit chatting, okay? So you guys ask me questions. Hopefully, I can answer you that, uh, you know, answer you as well. So it's kind of like really fun. I'm trying to build a community that, you know, you guys can interact to the side there, to the cyber on the chat room, you know, between 20 and 30 minutes every morning. Just have some fun with it. Okay, so Matthew has a question. He wanted to know um, what is going, what is your next mission? Okay, so my next mission is going to be dual boiler, rotary pump and the E61 group head, okay? So that's what I'm looking for next machine. And then, so, so far, you know what? I've been looking at the Lillet Bianca and also the Rocket R58, okay? R58 looks pretty good too. So, uh, also Bezerra also looks great as well. We got the ECM, 
is it looks amazing. So I'm looking at around $3,000 range. So by the way, so far we raised from Super Sticker, uh, Super Chat, so that money is told to the, our next machine. And also at PayPal, we raised about $430 so far. So and once we hit about 1000 bucks, and then I think I can cover the rest and uh, myself and also I'm trying to get a, some kind of sponsor from like coffee outlet somewhere. So, so hopefully we can get the machine. Okay, so we are going to compare the, the true high-end machine versus the low-end, okay? I think a Seattle Coffee Gear uh, did a good comparison yesterday. I think uh, I'm gonna shout out to Jake at Seattle Coffee Gear. I think he did a video on it yesterday. He was using, I think, a rocket versus uh, uh, entry-level Bravo machine. So, but it's something like that, okay? So is that worth upgrading it? I mean, if quality is about this, dip, this much difference, like slightly, May, it may not worth upgrading to a high-end machine, but if a taste is that much difference there, I don't know. So, I, so that's, the, that's the one we are going to find out for you on my channel. Hopefully we can do that on live streaming too. Okay, anything else this morning? I think, are we good? I, by the way, guys, I have three more boxes to unbox this week, okay? Maybe, uh, maybe we should do that maybe tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll give you a hint, one from Fella, okay, one from Fella, and the uh, other one from uh, UK, and the another one from, uh, I think, US as well. So I got three unboxing coming up this week. And by the way, uh, if you have a 3D print at home, you can make a lot of tools for a 54 millimeter. Or better yet, if you are thinking about getting DF64, you can make all kinds of tools for that as well, all kinds of mod, okay? So I know Linda and Ed, you guys are busy making tools right now, so yeah. Shout out to them. Ice Rocket asked, are you happy with the DF64? Ice Wolfie asked us, uh, Ice Rocket. Ice Rocket, Ice Rocket asked DF64. You know what, I, don't, I know a lot of you saw James Hoffman's video, right? Uh, James Hoffman's video about uh, the DF64, I know he has a lot of complaints about that machine. But so far, I've been using it for oh, past couple weeks. It's not bad, okay? It's pretty good. For the price, 450 bucks cannot beat the price. The 450 bucks is shit, okay? And so I got that one from Espresso Outlet. I'm going to shout out to Joe. Joe uh, sent me one to review. So yeah, I mean, it comes to the workflow. I know he was, uh, uh, you know, I know James was kind of, he doesn't like about the dial, the lettering. You know, I know that's, but this, DF65 different names for throughout the world. So this one's a, a Touraine model one. Uh, I mean, I, I like the lettering as well. I think a James one is a very funky letter, but yeah, so this one is much better. Uh, comes to, you know, all the buttons, you know, in, on the bottom rather than the side. Yes, I can see why. But overall workflow, shot quality, really nice, okay? They're flat birds, so it's kind of like hard to compare with a conical bird from niche, but there are two different, we are comparing apple to orange, but retention rate is pretty good. Pretty much what, 0.1 to 0.2 gram uh, retention, just like niche. So yeah, overall, for the price, can beat it. Okay, can beat the price. Cup sleeve, uh, I think uh, Linda, I think Eduardo is uh, uh, making one for me. I think he said he's gonna ship it one for me, a cup uh, adapter there. So again, if you have a 3D print, if you have DF64, if you have a friend has a 3D print, go to Thingiverse, they have uh, all kinds of stuff you can print it out. So, I mean, also, you can actually upgrade the bird set as well, okay? You can upgrade to SSP bird set, like high uniform bird set. So you have a lot more options on DF64 because those bird sets are about $200 per set. So you are looking at $450 plus another $200 for the bird set, $650, bucks, 60, a 64 millimeter SSP bird. That's still cheaper than niche. So 
pretty much I know CY mentioned the other day is uh, we are comparing kind of like Apple to Android, so iOS versus Android, because Apple is very slick and user-friendly, just like a uh, niche does. I mean, niche is really, really uh, user-friendly. But with uh, DF64, little rough on the edge, okay? But I mean, if you guys like that, if you guys like tinker with, a lot of mod is out there as well. So it's all depends on what you guys like, okay? You want the slick or you want something you have a lot more control of, you know, modifying it. So, I mean, you know, there is a grinder for everybody. Another viewer asked, do you think a Breville dual boiler refurbished for five to $600 is worth it? Okay, uh, dual boiler, someone asked me about the, is a good deal getting dual boiler for the used one for between five and $600. Uh, make sure to check it out, make sure to check it, okay? Uh, make sure everything works, steam on, the hot water faucet, if everything is checked out. I mean, that's pretty good because the dual boiler is about fourteen to $1,500, so US dollars. So yeah, 500 bucks is a pretty good deal. Because I, I pay mine, so I got my Bravo Booster Pro, I pay like 500 bucks for it. And then because I got used, uh, it's a $899, it was $799. But you know, previous owner, he were taking care of this, so... Five five hundred bucks. I thought that's pretty fair. I, I, I pay five fifty. Okay. Um, you were asked, can we do a Bravo Boiler Pro Tune SSP upgrade video? Someone asked me, can I do SSP bird upgrade video? I gotta save some money, but yes. Uh, hopefully we can. I can because I love to do that. Compare between SSP versus a uh, flat bird on here. That's still bird inside. But if you guys want to see it right away. I know CY has the channel, so uh, the CY is a, he's a guy in Singapore. Man, he does all kinds of modifications, so yeah, make sure to check out CY's channel. John asks, is the Breville Pro worth the cost difference from the Baristics Is Bravo Pro worth difference from, okay, it's only worth about 100 bucks, okay? For me, it's worth it. Okay, for me, it's worth $100. Because you have a lot more uh, adjust, adjustability for the grinder setting. Yeah, so yeah, I think I definitely. I, I take a couple more questions and... Yeah, that's it. I, oh, good, perfect. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys like uh, this kind of videos. And I'm planning on doing some more edited video, but I don't know, something about doing live streaming. You know, kind of like what you see is what you get. So, and also I got some more, I got three more unboxing there. I'm going to start... Unbox tomorrow, so tomorrow is Wednesday, so yeah, we're gonna do that, and then I got some really cool stuff in there, so I can't wait to share that with you as well. And then this afternoon, on my afternoon, my live uh, streaming at my shop, I think I was planning on doing some coffee roasting, but I don't know, I think I felt like doing some pour over. Okay, let's do pour over. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do the Rancho Leo Silvia again, but yeah, so let's do some pour over this afternoon. Uh, more unboxing coming up. I got a lot of unboxing coming up. So at some point I'm planning on doing a Patreon, hopefully next couple months because I need to give away my stuff, okay? I have a lot of stuff on my house and my shop. So I'm gonna set up some kind of Patreon so member can. Hey, you know what, let me know in the comment section. Should I do the Patreon or some kind of YouTube membership? So in that case, you know, I can just, you know, give it to, you know, our viewers pretty easily. So anyway, uh, let me know in the comment section as well. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday morning and see you guys tomorrow.